good morning so this is presentation is for the second form d students which includes the pharmacognosy of olive oil and shark liver oil so these are the two drugs which comes under the lipids that is the fixed oils so first we will see about the pharmacognosy of olive oil it is morphologically an unorganized drug which is a fixed oil chemically it consists of the fixed oil that is nothing but the triglycerides of fatty acids and pharmacologically it is used as the demulcent as well as the vehicle for the parenteral preparations this olive oil is otherwise called as salad oil or sweet oil or oleum olive biological source it consists of the fixed oil obtained by cold expression of the ripe fruits of olea europea and olea ferruginea which is the indian olive belonging to the family oleacea when you just come to the geographical source it is native to the uh, regions nearing to mediterranean sea and it is native of uh, palestine and spain is the largest producer of olive oil and also it is present in western united states and uh, many of the subtropical localities the next comes the collection and preparation of olive oil olive tree it is an evergreen tree which uh, grows to a height of about 12 meters and this tree produces the drupaceous fruits about 2 to 3 cm in length and it is purplish in color when it is in ripe in condition the fruits the olive fruits are called as olives usually these olives are collected in the month from november to april after the collection the fruits are subjected for grinding and the pulp is taken and it is introduced into the coarse grass baskets and it is placed in the screw press when you apply the specific pressure it the oil is expressed out from the crushed pulp the oil is collected in the tubes containing water and the upper layer is skimmed off and the product which is obtained by this method is called as the virgin oil and uh, they are obtained by gentle press the peeled pulp which is spread from the end of it then the mark is treated with water and again expressed to get the second grade of edible oil and finally the pulp is mixed with hot water and again pressed which gives little less a quality of oil which is used for the technical purpose and finally the pulp may be extracted with the organic solvents like carbon disulfide to get the inferior quality of the olive oil the cold pressed oil yield is about 15 to 40% and that is used for the medicinal purpose and the fruit which is not fully matured will give out the oil of poor quality and the taste will be bitter so that is about the collection and production of olive oil and next we'll go to the morphological characteristics of the olive oil 
it is a pale yellow or light greenish yellow colored liquid which is due to the presence of uh, the pigments chlorophyll or keratins it is a non drying oil which is having a pleasant delicate smell with bland and faintly acrid taste when you see the solubility of olive oil it is miscible with ether chloroform carbon disulfide and other organic solvents mm -hmm. that is non polar solvents and slightly soluble in alcohol and insoluble in water on cooling at 5 to 10 degrees it becomes a cloudy and at 0 degrees it forms a whitish granular mass when it is exposed to air it becomes rancid that's why always it should be stored in a well filled well closed container protected from light when you just see the standards of olive oil the specific gravity is between 0.914 to 0.919 acid value between 0.2 to 2.8 and saponification value is 187 to 196 and the iodine value ranges from 79 to 90 these are the standards to which the olive oil should comply with and next comes to the chemical constituents of olive oil which consists of the triglycerides of oleic acid this is a major fatty acid present around 56 to 85% and apart from that it also has the other uh, triglycerides of palmitic acid linoleic acid stearic acid arachid acid arachidic acid palmitoleic acid linolenic acid eicosanoic acid gadolic acid and lignoceric acids these are all the various fatty acids they are present in the form of glycerides and apart from that it also has the minor quantities of squalene phytosterol and tocopherols when you see the olive oil obtained from italy or spain they have the higher oleic acid content whereas the oil obtained from greece and tunisia will have the higher levels of linole linoleic acid so that is about the chemical nature of uh, olive oil and next is the identification test under uv radiation it gives deep golden yellow color while the refined oil gives pale blue fluorescence then the oil is decolorized with charcoal this removes this fluorescence this fluorescence may be due to the presence of the pigments that is the keratins and uh, the chlorophyll uses it is used as a demulcent emollient also it is used as a coloritic or collagen it is used as a laxative and this oil olive oil is used in the manufacture of pharmaceutical preparations and apart from that it is used in the manufacture of soaps as textile lubricants and usually the sulfonated oils are used as a lubricants it is also used in the preparation of liniments cosmetics plasters and in the food industry it is used in the preparation of salads and for cooking and baking it is used and apart from that in the parenteral preparations it is used as a very good solvent to disperse the oil miscible medicaments so that is about the uses of uh, olive oil and the pharmacography of oil olive oil and next we will see about the pharmacography of shock liver oil so it is morphologically a uh, an organized drug which is a fixed oil obtained from the animal source chemically it is a fixed oil that is nothing but the glycerides or fatty acids 
and pharmacologically this is used in the treatment of vitamin A deficiency that is xeraphthalmia which is in turn the condition called as night blindness the synonym for this shock liver oil is oleum silicoide the shock liver oil is the fixed oil obtained from the fresh and the healthy livers of shark, a variety of fish, Hippoprion breviostris, belonging to the family Carcarinidae, and also the other species like Galeorinus zeopterus in the countries outside India. In India, the species of Poliodon. Carcarius and Spirna are used. The geographical source for shock liver oil is mainly the European countries, that is, the countries near to the uh, Pacific Ocean and in the Indian Ocean, also in Tamil Nadu, especially the states like in India, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Kerala are producing the shock liver oil. And when you just come to the preparation of this shock liver oil, the shark is captured and it is sacrificed after sacrification, the livers are removed from the fish, is cleaned thoroughly and allowed for freezing. Before freezing, it should be made free from fatty substances and attached tissues like gallbladders and other things. And after subjecting it to freezing, the freezed livers are taken and it is minced and heated in a boiling pot at a temperature not exceeding 80 degrees centigrade. At that time, the oil exudes, it floats on the top and it is separated. The separated oil is washed and the water is removed. And then the dehydrated oil is cooled to separate stearin. The suspended materials are removed by centrifugation. And the oil prepared in such a way is supplemented with vitamins A and D in the desired amount. There are government factories in Tamil Nadu and Maharashtra in India for processing of livers for the extraction of shock liver oil. So that's how the shock liver oil is prepared from the livers of the shark. And next we'll see about the morphological characters. It is a pale yellow to brownish yellow liquid, viscous in nature with the fishy odor and a bland fishy taste. When you just come to the solubility of shock liver oil, it is insoluble in water, sparingly soluble in alcohol, and freely miscible in non-polar solvents like petroleum ether, chloroform, benzene, etc. And when you just come to the standards of shock liver oil, the specific gravity is around 0 0.912 to 916. The refractive index is around 1.459 to 1.477 at 40 degrees centigrade. And acid value is not more than 2, iodine value not less than 90. Saponification value lies between 175 to 200. The moisture content should be less than 1% and the impurity should be less than 1%. These are all the various standards to which the shock liver oil should comply with. 
And next we go to the chemical constituents. The active principles of shock liver oil is vitamin A, which varies from 15,000 to 30,000 international units per gram of the oil. And it also consists of the glycerides of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. And the shock liver oil is rich in alkyl glycerols, which are naturally found in mother's milk and in the bone marrow. So that is why this uh, shock liver oil uh, is uh, supplemented for the children. This shock liver oil also contains pristine and squalene. And also it has omega-3 fatty acids like picasopentanoic acid and uh, decasohexanoic acid. And apart from that, it also consists of triglycerides, glycerol ethers and fatty alcohols. So these are all the various uh, chemical constituents present in shock liver oil. And next comes to the shock liver oil chemical test. The very first test is the shock liver oil is dissolved in chloroform and treated with sulfuric acid, which gives you a violet color changing to purple and finally to brown due to the presence of vitamin A. And the second test is the shock liver oil is dissolved in chloroform and few drops of saturated solution of antimony trichloride in chloroform is added. This gives you a blue color, which is due to the presence of vitamin A. The next is the uses of shock liver oil. As I already told you, this oil is rich in vitamin A. So it is used in the deficiency of vitamin A. Deficiency of vitamin A leads to xerophthalmia, that is nothing but abnormal dryness of the surface of conjunctiva. That's why it leads to night blindness. This oil is nutritive and also used as a tonic because of uh, the presence of the other components like uh, the omega-3 fatty acids and other things which are present in the uh, mother's milk. Uh, so that is why it is used as a tonic. And it is also used as a dietary supplement, which will boost up the immune system to fight the infections. And it is also used as depending on the commercial preparations, this uh, shock level liver oil is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So it is used as a food supplement. So when you just see the government plan, they will supplement once in six months, the shock liver oil should be supplemented to the children below uh, five years or sometimes below 10 years. It is one of the government program that is initiated by our central government. So once in six months, the uh, primary health workers or other people will uh, uh, look around for the children below the years of uh, five years of age and they will supplement to this uh, vitamin A oil that is shock liver oil and this shock liver oil apart from this it is used in moisturizing skin creams and lotions and also it is used in the several cosmetic companies to prepare these creams lipsticks and all those things and nowadays, uh, some of the companies, they have removed this ingredient because of the concern of sacrificing the shark. So because of uh, capturing the shark and sacrificing for the collection of shark liver oil, the decline of shark species was happening. So that's why nowadays it is under the great concern and they are omitting this ingredient in the preparations. And one of the marketed preparation of shock liver oil is the soft gel capsule of shock liver oil, and uh, which is supplemented for the children as well as for the elderly people.
So that is about the pharmacognosy of olive oil and shock liver oil. Thank you.